Senator Murkowski of Alaska is a strong leader on energy issues, and I am grateful for the chance to work with her on the Energy and Natural Resources Committee. And so in my view, it's fitting that we're here today, despite representing very different states from quite different regions of the country and from different parties, to talk about an issue that we believe can bring us together. Republicans and Democrats alike can agree that when it comes to American energy, we need a comprehensive, all of the above strategy. That's the only way we're gonna succeed in developing secure, homegrown, and affordable sources of energy for our next generation. Oil and gas, in my view, aren't going away anytime soon. But if renewable sources of energy are going to grow and also become central players in the American energy marketplace, we have to make sure they're operating on a level playing field. And right now, the playing field is anything but equal. For nearly 30 years, traditional sources of energy have had access to a very beneficial tax structure called Master Limited Partnerships. This is a financing arrangement that taxes projects like a partnership, a pass-through, but trades their interests like a corporate stock. This prevents double taxation and leaves more cash available for distribution back to investors. So limited partners, general partners come together, invest capital in a master limited partnership, form an operating company, and for the last 30 years that's been used in natural gas, in oil and coal mining, predominantly in pipelines, but in fossil fuels. Not surprisingly, this structure means that MLPs have had access to private capital at a lower cost, something that capital-intensive projects like oil pipelines badly need, and frankly, something that alternative energy projects in the U.S. need more than ever. So, Madam President, let's work together and level this playing field. Let's remove the restriction that allows only traditional energy projects like oil and gas and coal and pipelines to form MLPs. It's literally in the original statute that only non-renewable forms of energy are eligible. In my view, we should open it up to include clean and renewable energy and then let the free market take it from there. So this week, Senator Murkowski and I joined Republicans and Democrats from the House and the Senate to introduce the Master Limited Partnerships Parity Act of 2013, a bill that will do just that. We are grateful for the support of Senators Jerry Moran of Kansas, Debbie Stabenow of Michigan, as well as Congressman Ted Poe of Texas, Mike Thompson of California, Peter Welch of Vermont, and Chris Gibson of New York, our original co-sponsors. Our bill does not change these benefits for traditional energy sources at all. It doesn't touch existing MLPs and their well-established benefits for coal and oil and natural gas. It just allows renewable energy projects to compete fairly by also accessing this tax advantage capital formation vehicle. It gives an equal chance for success to projects using energy from the wind and from the sun, the heat of the earth and biomass, projects that use breakthrough technologies to provide consumers with affordable homegrown energy for the generations to come. This bill is this year a new and improved version of the Master Limited Partnership Parity Act from last year. We introduced a version last year that earned strong support from Republicans and Democrats, as well as outside experts and the business community. This year, we're expanding the scope of the bill to also include additional energy projects that qualify as MLPs. Waste heat to power, carbon capture and storage, biochemicals, and energy efficiency in buildings. We wanted to include a broader array of clean energy resources because that's how we can get the best competition and deliver the most affordable and efficient energy to consumers from Delaware to Alaska and across our whole country. Madam President, MLPs are complicated financial structures, but our bill is very simple. It's just a few pages long. It makes one simple tweak to the tax code to bring these renewable energy and clean energy projects into the existing structures of MLPs. It is the embodiment of what I've heard from many colleagues in the last three years that we should not be picking winners and losers in energy technology, and we should have an all-of-the-above strategy. This change, in my view, will bring a significant new wave of private capital off the sidelines and into the renewable energy marketplace. It allows the private sector to look at clean energy in a whole new way. Today, Master Limited Partnerships have reached a market capitalization of close to $450 billion, with about 80% of it devoted to traditional energy projects, oil 